This is where the awning, we're going to replace the awning here. And this is the main courtyard. That's, that's into My name's city. Donald Takeshi Yoshino, uh, architect here in Boca Raton. Growing up in, in, in a farm uh, and having the experience of what my father went through, I'm sure George Murakami had a similar experience. I've been involved with uh, the Murakami since 1987, 88. So we, this, this was a master plan showing what we might be able the to do. The gift shop has now encroached into the uh, existing lobby a little bit, and uh, whenever we have an event, we have to push that aside to push it back into the uh, confines of the existing space. So really what we need uh, is, a, is a larger shop. And so uh, with this, uh, this expansion and uh, renovation, we wanted to uh, increase the size. So that's now the new gift shop. The expansion is, uh, at this point, is to be double the size of what we currently have. So this now becomes the new gallery. The galleries, of course, uh, have served us well for the first uh, 15, 20 years, but I think it's now at a point where it's, it's uh, too small. And, uh, and it doesn't allow us to have uh, larger exhibits uh, that, uh, that we should be showing at the museum. And along with the galleries, uh, expanding the galleries, obviously we're gonna need to expand our collection facilities as well. So, in order to expand the existing uh, galleries, there's two things we can do. One is to go into the um, existing library and the uh, existing office space and, and push, uh, push the gallery in that direction, or to go expand in all directions to get a, a larger footprint for the gallery. My name is Felix Laughlin, and uh, I'm uh, the president of the National Bonsai Foundation, uh, which is the support organizations for the National Bonsai and Penjing Museum in Washington, D.C. Uh, it's at the U.S. National Arboretum in Washington. I've uh, also been a volunteer here at the Morikami for a number of years, and I'm currently serving on the board of directors here. Well, I've been involved in bonsai since 1972. Uh, I lived in New York City for a while and uh, took lessons at the Brooklyn Botanic Gardens. Our goal for the Morikami Bonsai Exhibition is to make it a world-class uh, bonsai exhibition consistent with the high level of the Japanese gardens here. We hope to have a complete bonsai complex, uh, which would have all the elements that we would need uh, to, first of all, display the bonsai properly for the public. Uh, to have uh, work areas for people working on the bonsai, to have areas where we can put on demonstrations. Well, the new, the new bonsai area hopefully will have a uh, pavilion that can be uh, opened up uh, and uh, we can work inside that pavilion if we want to or not. Uh, it can also be used for exhibitions, uh, public exhibitions, uh, workshops, uh, demonstrations. Uh, some place where the public would feel comfortable and, um, and all of the people working on the bonsai would feel comfortable in, in all times of the year. The bonsai really does give you a way to relax, uh, enjoy nature, get away from all the trials and tribulations of uh, the normal life, hectic life in today's world. My name is Christy Chen. My full name is Xiaoyan Chen Watts. My husband Fu and I have been running the cafe for 22 years. My family started here um, with six tables and it was just her running the front end and the cooking and the cleaning and the busing and everything. Now we have 150 seats. We're going to put some uh, new booths at the inside dining area. Uh, new um, decoration and seating. The railing's supposed to be redone and like they're supposed to set up a hostess station and the drink station. I'm excited for that. <laughs> That'll be great. My daughter Ian and my son-in-law Paul 
um, I hope they will continue run the cafe, uh, come up with a new idea. Um, I think uh, uh, we did pretty good every year. My husband and I are, are really excited to, to expand and we'll see what kind of growth we can contribute to you know, my family's legacy here. People come here and they know like it's the same family that's run the cafe this whole time, so we'd love to put our stamp on it too. <laughs>